Right, that means that it's only me and Domus. We're all come alone. On. Well, um, if you think you can come up with several lumberjacks, come on, we're waiting. I was about to say, I'm chomping at the bit here. We're waiting. Oh, sudden silence, you fail. Ten Sides is just Sailor Moon, but Sailor Moon isn't weird at all. I mean, I think, isn't that a RPG? I don't know, I never played it, but, I, I mean, with I him... Know that, I, I know that there is a Sailor Moon RPG, and it's actually really good. Hilariously enough. Actually, let's have let's take a look at that. If it is the RPG, or if it's the uh, action game, maybe it's the fighting game, I don't know. The funny thing about Sailor Moon is that pretty much every Swede born in the 80s knows the uh, lyrics for the Swedish dub main theme because it was on TV literally every day. Really? Wow. We it didn't was really the get anime until the 90s or so and it wasn't very, very common or anything. Yeah. Right, the question is, who the heck do we play as? Take the enemy girl. Let's see, I remember the one in the upper right corner, that's Ray. And that's Serena yes. in the middle. Ray is Sailor and Mars, and we have Sailor Mercury over there, Sailor Moon, of course, and then it's Sailor... Is it Venus, maybe? And Neptune. Uh, I don't think that's Venus. Well, this is Uranus, your, your huh? Eh? <laughs> Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Let's just go with Sailor Moon for simplicity's sake. Yeah, why can't you play as Luna? I always really liked Luna and Artemis. Forget the whole magical girl thing. I mean... It always disturbed me that it was a woman that came up with this and drew it. it I don't know. Really? I mean, it's pretty... There's Luna. Um, it's the kind of thing, because there aren't a lot oh, of yes. women superhero type things, and, it, and when they are, they're very, you know, fixed. Oh, it is a brawler. Yep, it's the brawler one. No, Tuxedo Mask was the hottest, definitely. I like that she opens her combo by literally karate shopping someone on the shoulder. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, it is a pretty zoomed in brawler for whatever reason. <laughs> Whoa, since when does Sailor Moon know Yudo? Uh, since the episode called for it? Uh, there I never seemed to be much yeah. rules to. Um, to any episode except it just it had to have a transformation sequence so they could play the little clip of her transforming that they spent all their money on and um it had to be slightly creepy yeah and for those of you who are not familiar with the series um for example her daughter from the future when she is a queen comes back to the past and lives with her, but is an annoying little brat, and she's a teenager, so she doesn't want anything to do with this annoying little kid, and it's just... And then, you know, uh, it's just weird and, and crazy. It becomes doubly hilarious when said daughter starts macking on her actual father. Yes. Uh. Though I don't think she, she's aware at the time that that's actual her father. N nobody is aware of it. So creepy! Very Japanese. Let's see. Oh, hey! Fighting in an elevator, that's a new one. Whoa, holy! What the heck are you supposed to. Okay, um. <laughs> wow!
Uh, I, I mean, Senseless that was pretty typical, pretty typical Onis there, but at the same time, yeah, I don't remember any of these being actual enemies in the anime. Uh, maybe later on, we only got about half the series here uh, by the time I stopped watching and it inexplicably quit in the middle of the story. So, you got uh, about halfway through one set of something, and then uh, no more story, you go back to the beginning. Because that's the way anime I would was. never get tired of killing people by throwing them out of an elevator in motion. That's... wow. <laughs> Talk about the violence of Final Fight. This is crazy. This is a 14-year-old girl literally throwing people to their deaths. The fun part is because the elevator keeps going up, you get to break new glass over and over. Yeah, I know, it's amazing. They should do something like that. This in the Yakuza games. But seriously, this is why you never fight so against someone who knows Yudo in a moving elevator because he will grab you and just throw you the fuck out. Holy shit! This is disturbing, but hilarious as well. <laughs> well, they are clearly monsters. I mean, they're not. They're not actual. And uh, no Lumbi Ackman answer. She is actually 14 in the series. It's just, well, they moved her up a few years in the international dubs because, well, you know. <gasps> Finally, he's here! Wow, he's short. What the? <laughs> Did you shrink? Why is Sailor Moon's head larger than yours? I. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a really tiny head. Ride the kick! Oh, where'd he go? Aww. He always disappears, though. That's sort of his thing. Yeah, it is. But he's supposed to save the day and then disappear. Not the other way around. That would make for a pretty boring fighting game, though. <laughs> no, you get to take over as Tuxedo Mask, beat the crap out of people, and then... You're back to that, Serena. That would be really rad, though. If it suddenly just switched the viewpoints to you on a roof uh, half a block away, and then you can swoop in and start throwing roses while the AI takes control of the Sailor Moon. <laughs> Stop doing that pigeon toe thing, Sailor Moon. It makes you look terrible. Well, that that's true. He doesn't really actually do that much. He usually just inspires Sailor Moon to to do something. And that was apparently a C rank. What, didn't I throw enough people out of the elevator? You died a couple times. <sighs> well, I think we played Sailor Moon enough, so let's uh, <laughs> put that aside for now.